All right, welcome to the Zabe cast. Zabe, Scott Lynn, Al Galdi, Mr. Solomon joining me. Three and a half minutes of your life. You'll never get back, but you're going to like it. Neither will we. You'll get compensated. Oh, okay. Theoretically. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see, the uh, see the cave family in St. Louis that had lost their cave to foreclosure? I saw that. Cave? No, I didn't. Yes, know. their cave home. Well, they built their home they... <laughs> in a cave. Yes. You didn't hear about this, I huh? did not, know. Yeah. Cave home. Looks like a cave. Yeah, yeah. It looks but like it's a the, home looks inside like a cave. of a cave. Nice. East of St. Louis. Was this and a revenue type thing where they had stalagmites and stalactites? <laughs> Were they doing mining in the living the room? The marble wall is phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. So it's hundreds the of years old. The whole house is marble. Did they dynamite this out or it was just holes and they moved in? I don't know, but this family had their cave for <laughs> Which which company bought the rock cave. to begin with? I guess is yeah. The big how much was the property? Right. Who owned this? You know, again, I don't know. What are the easements on their plot? Right. Like no, uh, once you get to this stone here in the wall, that's the next guy's. Yeah, right. Cliff. What kind of property taxes are we right. talking right? And about? is it hard if you want Directv to mount something like that on you know your your roof, which is rounded well, and and stone? You want to try to get cable out there? Scott, you Drag could get cable underground. You could get some lag bolts, I'm sure, mm-hmm. to uh, go right into those go rocks. right into that granite. Wow. Okay. A lot of drilling, though. A lot of sweat and tears. Where's the bathroom? It's just out back. It's over a cliff for number one. <laughs> number two, it's over a cliff. It happens to be over over a highway. That's right. People report every morning the father just doing his business mercilessly. This is the stupidest idea ever. Put a house inside of a cave. Either you're going to go old school cave dwelling and yeah. do the finger painting of buffalo on the walls and wear loincloth. What a lovely, lovely living room. Or you're you going to live here. in a house in a neighborhood. Don't try to do both. You ain't the you know, Flintstones. There's there's something to be said for getting back to nature. I think that's kind of cool. I'm but sad they're that they not were... back to nature, Scott. Well, they built a yeah, condo inside of a house. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. fine. And they have wireless in their cave. Can you see the, the mortgage application <laughs> specialist going, hmm, I see. A three-bedroom, four-bedroom cave. Interesting. Uh, limited running water. Uh, no electricity. I don't know if they had electricity or not. Maybe they had generators, gas generators. They Mr. Would fire Smith, up. this is L.L. Bean. We don't uh, deliver, deliver to P.O. To boxes cave. or caves. Exactly. So you're going to have to do a little bit better than the current address you've listed on your internet application. Is St. Louis cave rich? I mean, I, when I think caves, I don't think St. Now Louis. There are hills in the uh, Ozark region of the Midwest and, yeah. you know, some bluff tops. So obviously they found one there. I just wonder if the wife was always walking around the cave going, man, it feels drafty in here. Is it drafty that's in that's here? That's the other thing. Honey, can you get some of those plug-in? How about one of those Amish heaters? I think that they probably would have ordered six to ten of those. Even the Amish wouldn't live nights. in a cave. Even the Amish have some self-respect. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Do you uh, do you carpet a cave wall to wall? How do you do? It? Or does that? I think you go hardwood. You got to go h- hardwood or just tile. Hard rock. Yeah. Hard rock. <laughs> tile everything. Yeah. Tile. Uh, the stick tile that you can buy from the Home Depot or the Lowe's. You know, they come in like the twenty packs. They're about fifty pounds each. Just lay them down and start sticking them all over the place. Well, I guess I'm glad that. Uh, they got their mortgage redone, and they're going to keep their cave. Good. God bless them. But uh, stupid idea. Please, nobody try to imitate. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.